Hi there, so let's talk about sorcerers. Yeah? So this is lecture four. So sorcerers are those additional terms that we had in the equation. So each of the equations you can put additional sorcerers, additional terms. So just to mention now that in addition, now in addition to all modeling capabilities that we have seen so far, we have this option that you can add it to any of the previous models. Okay, so this functionality is provided using FB models, okay? Which is located, this dictionary is located in the directory constant, okay? In previous version, it used to be SV auction, so now they change it. Uh, you can use, uh, there are many types of uh, sources that you can add in OpenFone, and you can even program your own using call string, no? In the same dictionary, you can program some stuff. Uh, Okay, so this is an advanced, this can be seen as an advanced models. I want to point out that the icophone, remember the, the solver, uh, is a very basic for uh, solver and does not support modeling capabilities. So it doesn't support FV models. So if you are looking to add this, to use FV models in icophone, you cannot do, do it, but then but you can use piece of phone pimple phone all the other solvers that support this capability uh you will find the source code in this directories fb models and fb constraint and previous lecture we talked about fb constraints and this can be seen as a source there okay but it's specifically not to add minimum and maximum to constrain some values, but it's something equivalent, okay? This specific source that you will have it here, as we model, so you can visit this directory. Also, you can use phone info to, to find the information. So the sources must be, fair, uh, to apply source, uh, you must first select where you want to apply okay so it can be in the whole domain it can be in a cell selection or it can be in a point or multiple points okay there is no limitation and you can apply multiple sources uh, at a time also <clears throat> uh, uh, to do this uh, cell selection, you can use top set or you can create it in a mesh and time here. I'm going to show you how to do it with top set and introduce a little bit this utility. We have seen it already, but just to show some how the dictionary is organized. Uh, also, I would like to, to point out that boundary conditions are sourced there. Okay, so if you didn't know that, it's a source there. It's also that you are forcing the solution to be equal to a value. You say, okay, at the inlet, I run a velocity of one. That is a source there. And when I talk a source there, it's also an equivalent. So imagine that you are selecting a group of cells here. You are forcing the velocity to be one or the pressure to be one or whatever. So it's something like boundary conditions. So you set the sources, as I say in this dictionary, if we models, and this is the general structure. It will change from, 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 uh, from, uh, it will change from, from sourcer to sourcer, so I'm not going to focus there, it's very different. So let's go to this to this case now. So we have it here, it's still at one physics. You have sourcers, passive scalars, okay? And let's go to this momentum source. So what we are going to do is add this source there, called same implicit source, which is equivalent to add a momentum source to the equations. So, <clears throat> so we're going to add it in a cell selection, and in a point selection here. So this is the icon here you see. So see that you will have, <coughs> let's wait a little bit. See that you have in this sex selection, you are adding like a negative velocity. And here see that you're adding also velocity and momentum in uh, at an angle. So this is the effect. Uh, as you can see also, you can specify starting time and duration. So using all the functions that you have implemented in OpenFone. So in this, specific one, this is how the dictionary is organized. Okay, so see that you declare, there are many functions, uh, many source terms, so see that we select them points, location, a single location, or you can uh, add many points, okay, there is no limitation. And see here that we're using this, <coughs> this function a scale just to add a star and duration, no, it's a square pol pulse. There are many, <coughs> there are many implemented, uh, implemented here, and this is the value, okay? So if you don't want to use this scaling, you can just go like this, explicit, and it's just starting from zero all the time, you have it there. So once you see that, just to mention that this explicit, uh, same implicit source that you have an explicit and implicit contribution that you are defining here, apply to this variable, velocity variable, so you are going to have different 
is you want to apply it to pressure or whatever is like that and if you have different sources these entries are going to be different and this is a second one so see that we're applying two source strengths and that's all so to, to create this cell se cell selection that we have here we use top set and see that this is the general structure we're not showing here the header but here you just see the steps so here we're using a box selection you give the core in it and that's all you create it so this is a cell set and also you can create a sound set okay bustles then can be used to to apply sources okay so a general comments here and this is it now it's relatively easy to apply this to <clears throat> And it is compatible with muscle sol solver. So I would say that the only one is Icofone probably that is not compa compatible. So as you go in, into your tutorials, Momentum Source, and see that you have your classical directory structure. And the only thing that I'm going to open here, it will be constants and see that you have SV models. This was in previous version of Open for FB auction. That's all. This is the only new entry that we have. And here you do your definition. Okay. So see that we have many stuff like, like that I like to put here. So the, the regarding to this scale function, see that you have many there implemented. Okay. There are many auctions that are using this function one to do this scaling. So just follow this guideline. I want to point out also that in, in version 8 and older, you have these auctions, and now these auctions disappeared and they were moved here. Okay, so it's a little bit confusing. Okay, and sometimes it's tricky to get work in previous cases with these new with these not new functions that they they are adding so that that that's just all that <laughs> you need to add then remember that you add these source terms and you might need to adjust your numerics because these source terms can be the, the physics a little bit more difficult that's all so let's run the case okay so we run in the traditional way momentum source go here so this is a rather fast case and i just want to show you the log file. Remember that you have also constraints that constraints can be seen as a source. So see that running is reading this dictionary and then applying the source. Okay, so you have there the we're using actual specification and you have it there. So if you look at here as at your source core code, see that you have FB models here and here you have all those uh sources. So if you go into the dive See that you have many sources there, so you just need to enter there. Each one, as I say, each one will have different ways to set up the the input file. So that's why I, I don't comment. I, I didn't comment much about that, but because it's very different from case to case. Okay, so let's see that should be done in my case. Okay, so we have the solution, and now here nothing changed. Okay, the, the exactly output, same output, and if you launch Paraphone. Okay, let me go here, velocity, advance, let me scale and see that, okay, whoops, let me go at the beginning. So see that here in this region is the box that you can access here, now include sets and you will have it here. Okay, let me hide, turn on mesh and see that here is where you are injecting that momentum, okay. As you press play, you see that you have it there. It will take a duration of two, three seconds. And here you have the other one. It's a punctual one. Okay, let me go here. See that injecting here. Okay, the momentum at a given angle. Okay, so it's just define your 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 values in in the in the dictionary here. Okay, so that's all. Okay, this is all regarding uh, the source terms. Okay, so. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't need it, so this is up to you, okay? So thank you for your attention and see you in the next videos. Bye.